Welcome back. The Stars and Stripes Honor Flight is a nonprofit organization that raises money to transport military veterans to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials of the respective war that they fought. Honor Flight Wisconsin has flown more than 8,000 local veterans on these trips recently. Andre Williams got the tag along. You're here to give us a look at just how special a gift this can yes. be. Now, you know, it is really hard to put into words how special this one day trip to the nation's capital is, but it is one that I personally will never forget. Being a military veteran means you sacrificed your life for the greater good of our country. Stars and Stripes Honor Flights recognize that sacrifice and honors veterans with a life-changing trip to Washington, D.C. Mission number 64 included one World War II vet, 13 Korean War vets, and 144 veterans of the Vietnam War. I had the pleasure of escorting Marine and Vietnam vet, Minellis McGee. Dear Heavenly Father, you have gathered us together this morning as a family of veterans. This day of emotion started before the sun came up. Vets arrived at Mitchell International Airport with smiles on their faces. They landed a few hours later at Washington's Dulles Airport to a room filled with smiles and cheers. 95-year-old Jerry Stars made the trip. He's an Air Force and World War II vet. It's been fantastic and it's, it's the people the, the people in the airport and the young kids, just, it's fantastic. They visited the Lincoln Memorial and the Vietnam War Memorial, where there are almost 60,000 names of soldiers that were killed or went missing in action. The Korean War Memorial commemorates the sacrifices of the 5.8 million Americans who served during the three-year war. And then there was the World War II Memorial that consists of 56 pillars representing U.S. states and territories. Navy vet Malcolm Solward Gatford said the day was very moving for him. I've seen a lot, I've been here before, but this really means something a heck of a lot more than uh, just coming on your own. Perhaps the most moving was the visit to Arlington National Cemetery, the final resting place for over 400,000 service members and their families, including the most decorated soldier of World War II, the late actor, Audie Murphy. Last one. As the day moved along, it was hard not to build special bonds. Even I made a few new friends. It's gonna be... <laughs> Army vet Michael Philip Raymond told us what the day meant to him. Everything. People are so nice. It's all, it's just what it's supposed to be. A veteran gets respect. John Workman, you've got mail. The vets headed back with a special mail call and then landed to a welcome home they'll never forget. It almost brought tears to my head. Just makes your heart full. Wow. Cool. Yeah. As I'm watching this, I want more. <laughs> <laughs> well, there will be more. Okay. Hey, how about the that? good yes. news. Actually, we're going to continue taking a look at this very special honor flight, going from an overall look at the experience to an up close and intimate look at the personal journey of Minellis McGee. He's a former Marine and Vietnam vet. You saw him in the story. I escorted him on this honor flight, and I'm looking forward to sharing that part of the trip oh. tomorrow. Can't wait for that. Thank you. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I mean, coming away from that day that you spent there, does I mean, it's life changing. You mentioned it in your story, but I'm sure it is. It's something you'll remember forever. It's just like, you know, you can imagine uh, somebody like me going along on the trip, but imagine the people who actually, uh, many of them drafted, going overseas and fighting, and then this part of their life, they get to experience this with other veterans. So it's just, really special. It, it, that's the best way I can describe it. It's special. And she wore fatigues to work today. <laughs> that, <laughs> I know, I that, noticed that's, that too. <laughs> that's how it changed her too. Yeah. Fancy fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> Part two Thank tomorrow. you. Yeah, so I'll see you guys. All right.